Hi there, God's wonderful people. Citizens of heaven out there around the world. Season greeting to you. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. The songwriter said, what a friend we have in Jesus. Mm -hmm. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. The most high God. The one that sit high and look low. The ruler of the universe. Mm. The God that we serve. People of God, the God that we serve, he is the ruler of the universe. I hear some people want to say that Satan is the ruler of this earth. No. God is the ruler of the earth. Satan is here for just a moment, just a time. Just a time he's here. God is in control. For the Bible tells me that God created the light and God formed the light and created darkness. Satan is just the ruler of darkness. A two things run this world. Darkness and light. Satan is in control of the darkness because God allow him to. But God is in control of both darkness and light. Satan is, have no control in, in this world. I want to correct those people that are saying that Satan is in charge of the world. No. No. God is in charge of the earth and heaven. He rules, he reigns, the God of the universe. He is in charge. He formed this earth. The Bible told me in Genesis 1, Hallelujah, he speak. He called things into being. The Bible tell, tell, told me that the spirit of God moved upon the water. Not the, the spirit of Satan. When Satan to go get power to go rule this earth. No, he's just in charge of darkness until God is ready to take it from him. Amen. Amen. I am not on this morning for that. Praise God. But I am going as the spirit bids me. Yes, my friend and relative brothers and sister, brother blood brother blood sister spiritual brother and spiritual sister we are all sister because we are all created by this great man that i'm talking about god the almighty praise him i am here this morning he sent me on this morning and he said he wanted me to go and to tell his people the one that fear him and are walking according. And as I'm sitting here, this scripture comes to me. There are a few insiders that will not defile their garment. I come to you this morning. Papa Jesus sent me to you this morning. He said, I must tell you, his people, to pray special prayer for the children, them that are in school, rather from the infant or rather to the university. As long as there are students in school, we must pray for them. Because the enemy is about to attack the school. 
in the closing for the ending of this year. The enemy, the enemy, the wicked enemy, the, uh, the cruel enemy, the destroying enemy. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Target the school. And so, people of God, we need to pray for the schools around the nation. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Let us cover our schools. Let us cover our children. Parents, you have your children going to school. Whether they are grandchildren or great grandchildren or whether you whether is your neighbor children. Christian people, God sent me to you this morning. The few that is inside this that will not that are not defied in your garment. Jesus Christ sent me to you this morning to tell you, pray for the children them. Pray for the children them. Hallelujah. That are in school. And as I was saying, parents, guardians, loved ones, pray for your child or children before they leave the house. Cover them under the blood of Jesus. Cover their school teachers and all workers at their school. Cover the transportation that they will be traveling into. Whether they are walking or they will be driving. Pray. Pray for our children. Let us cancel. Let us cancel the plans of the enemy that the enemy have in mind to do to our children at the end of this year in the closing of school. Hallelujah. And the next thing again, people of God, remember my video that I made that the Lord sent me to you and to tell you that we must pray because there's a war coming for nations. Have you seen that fulfill anywhere yet? Have you seen have you seen it fulfill yet? That war that the Lord told me. I am not going to go into it because I am not here to big up myself. But have you seen that war yet? Yes. If you've seen that war, he he told me to tell you that. One war is past, but two more is coming. And this, you can find this in the scripture he gave me. Revelation 9, verse 12. Let me, speak, let me look to be sure. Let me look to be sure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 9, verse 12. Yes. Read it for yourself. I am not going to tell you what he said in the Bible. But he told me to tell the nation. The nations again. Nations again. One war pass. But two more is coming. Worse. Worse. Worse than what the war that passed. Amen. So let us keep praying watch and pray watch and pray people of god people of god people of god some serious things are going on in this world very serious thing and that is why some people have it to say that satan is in control of the world no but you know the reason why so much things are going on it is because of sin. It is because of sin. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, the gift of God is eternal life. I repeat myself again. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. When sin take over your life, a pure problem. When sin take over the nation. A pure trouble. 
Not because Satan have power, but because man, man and woman, boys and girls, turn their back on God. The, remember, the, the Bible told us in, a, in Second Chronicles, I believe, if my people, if my people, if my people that are called by my name, if we humble ourselves and pray, Turn from our wicked way. Turn. Turn. He will hear from heaven and heal our land. If Satan was in control, he would tell us to pray. He would tell us to humble. He would tell us, hallelujah, to turn and pray and humble himself. Satan no control this earth. We are in charge. We, the people of God, are in charge. But it's because we are wayward. We are doing our own thing. We of ourselves get caught up in the things of this life. We of ourselves, hallelujah, glory to God. Turn our back on God, doing our own thing. Mess up bad too in the church, from the rustum to the pew. We messed up badly. Greed, sex, and money. Mm -hmm. Messed up bad. Bad, bad, bad. Witchcraft. If you want to find the root of witchcraft, go into some churches. Right behind the altar there. You would try to see some stuff that they have there. If you want to find the root of witchcraft, go into some pastor's room, private room. And you see some stuff that they got there. You would frighten to do. We need to turn back. We need to go back to our first love. We need to go back to our first love. People of God, people around the world. The Bible told me this morning, one war is past and two more is coming. Worse. And this is because of sin. This is because men prefer darkness more than light. The same darkness I'm telling you about that Satan is in charge of. Men prefer it more than the light. Men prefer the creature, the monster, the beast, the dragon, more than Almighty God and His Son that crucified and that cruel cross that day. To bring us back to God, we reject Him. Then what do we expect? What do we expect? We expect that he's going to take the cross and the world go free? No. We expect that he's going to give up his life on that cross. They hung him so high, stripped him naked, spit upon him, beat him. His flesh was torn. Those nails that tore his flesh, pierced his side, hmm, with that spear. And blood and water gashes from the side of the Son of God. You believe that men is going to behave so wretched and vile, and he sit in heaven and look down and take it like that? He is a God of vengeance. You, you, you hear me this morning? God is a God of vengeance. He is a God of judgment. He said, vengeance is mine and I will repay. Listen to me, children of God out there. And listen to me, all you critics that are out there. 
and saying God is merciful, God is not going to make his people and do this and do that. You better repent. You better repent. He will cut you in pieces before you quint. He's a merciful God, yet he's a God of anger. And he's a man of fire. Do you hear me? God is a God of vengeance. Fire. He may lick you up in a moment with lightning and thunder. He will shook you so hard with earthquake. Oh God Almighty. Mm. He will wash you away so fast with the flood. Why oh, God is morning. He, ma, 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 he move you so fast with his flood. <laughs> his tsunami. Mm -hmm. He's a God of judgment. And I'm here to tell you this morning, look out for the next who is coming. Look out. Jamaica, again this man in my country, my country people, hey, hey, yeah. America, I am sitting in your territory, sir and ma'am, but the Lord God is saying to you, repent, turn back, God bless America, America turn back to God. Turn back to God, America. Return back to God. You are a blessed country. But you allow the enemy to trick you. Turn back to God. Jamaica, you are one of the blessed country in the world. Look on all your blessings. We are one of the best country in the world. Yet we are one of the messiest country in the world. Because of sin. Jamaica, return back to God. Take back our country out of the hands of the enemy. Take back our country out of the hands of the cruel one. We are in charge, Christian people. Jamaica, I know that their churches are actually... Every Square mile, you can find a church in Jamaica. And I know that there are people in Jamaica that are living for God. As not God would sink Jamaica the other day. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? He just sent a little warning. But watch out. The next one will be coming. He's counting. He's counting those of us that take this little one in serious and sh uh, uh, this little shake in serious to shake up our life to search ourselves to search our conscience and to come back to him as not the next one that will be coming hmm. weeping and wailing and mourning May God bless and keep you this morning. And may he make his face shine upon you all. And I'm asking you this morning again, please, to send out this message when you get it. This message is special. It's a special message about the children and the closing of school for the end of this year the enemy target the school and we need to go down in sackcloth and ashes who can fast fast and pray for the schools and i remember i said from the infant up to the university as long as it is a school let us pray people of god let us pray even if you are not a Christian, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us turn. 
let us turn. Let us pray for Israel. <laughs> the woe. The woe. The nations. <laughs> the woe for the nations. People of God. Let us pray for Israel. Let's pray for all the countries that are in war right now. But let me tell you something. None of us, none of us are free from what is about to take place. The next war and another war. None of us know what it's going to be like. Let us prepare ourselves. And that is why I'm asking you again, please, to send out this video. Please, like this video for when, when you like the video, people of God. And all those that are out there that are listening. When you like the video, it push YouTube to send the video out. Okay? This is not about me. Okay? This is not even about you this is about god wanted to save his people wanted wanted to save our children if we only move in obedience to him he is in control i am telling you that is god in control not man not no demons, not no devil. But it's because we are not praying. We are not living up to the expectation that he expected us to live accordingly to his word. That is why you find these people are bragging and boasting. That there is no God. There is a God. There is a God. And if you think there, there is, isn't a God. Wait and see. Wait and see. When this world. Start to wheel. And stagger. Like a drunken man. A drunken man. Wait. Until this world start to burn. Like an oven. It shall never leave root. Our branches. Judgment. Said the Lord God this morning. God bless you. God keep you again. See you in the next video.